Hello my peregrine friends, my sickness still doesn't want to leave me alone so I will still so you will still have to put with my duck voice today. We are starting the last round for the top 7 drivers following the same format already mentioned before. Let me know in the comments if you like this new format. And the 7 drivers we will see are Shane Graham from Limerick, Ireland, Teruya Muniak from Tokyo, Japan, Next, we have Daisy O'Brien from the Sandy Adelaide in Australia. After is Piotr Frolov from the beautiful Moscow in Russia. From Xi'an in China, we have Chiao Li, followed by Salomon Puma from the tropical city of Bameida in Cameroon. And we will finish with our current championship leader, Kian Falun from Dublin, Ireland. Let's jump to Ari's predictions as he's joining me again here at the studio for this nonsense game we started. Uh, oh, oh wait, he's not joining me at the studio. People are telling me he had to do some errands and won't join, but he has left a note with his predictions. Okay, let me take it. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, in first, uh, he says it will be Chao Li. Second, Daisy O'Brien. Third, Kian Falun. Fourth, Teruya Muniyak, 5th Piotr Frolov, 6th Salomon Puma and Shane Graham as last one. And after our drivers finish the rounds, we will check how well Ari performed. If uh, you would like to join this nonsense game as well, check the description at the at, check at the description of the video. So let's start now. Shane is our first. Shane is in the seventh position with 23 points, currently tied with Leroy Balkarhan. Shane has already in his belt one win, which was for the second group back in New Zealand. Next is Teruya Muniak, who's currently in the sixth position with 24 points. Teruya's best overall qualifying position was eighth, which gave him the fourth at the second group. It was back in the big ring. Then we have Daisy O'Brien. Her best qualifying position was back in the big ring where she qualified overall in the second, granting the pole for the second group. Unfortunately, she didn't race well and finished in the fifth position, wasting that pole position. Piotr Frolov also had his best qualifying back in the big ring. His overall qualification was in the eighth, giving him the third position for the second group. Petya managed to finish that race in the second place. Then we have Chiao Li who have a history of racing for the first group, both in New Zealand and in the big ring. However, back in Belasco when he qualified in the fourth overall, he started at the second position and finished with his first win for the third group. Salomon just started. Salomon has a collection of two wins for Belasco and the big ring, with the third in New Zealand. However, those wins are... Oh, wait, wait. Kian is starting sooner. Well, let's talk about him then. <laughs> Kian is the leader also with two wins for Belasco and Big Ring, but Kian has a second position back in New Zealand, which gives him the leadership in comparison to Salomon Puma. We also need to consider the specific groups for which each driver secured victories. Both drivers have a win in the first group, however Salomon has an additional win in the second group, while Kian has a win in the third group. This gives Solomon a slight advantage of one point. In their first competition back in New Zealand, Kian finished second in the second group, while Solomon also placed second in the third group. The one point advantage that Solomon gained from his wins is now offset by the two point advantage Kian earned by finished second in the second group, resulting in Kian taking a one point lead in the overall standings and now being the leader of the championship. While I rambled about Kian's and Salomon's standings, Shane finished his first lap with 1 minute 51.2 seconds, Teruya with 1 minute 52.9 seconds, Days with 1 minute 47.4, which is a very great lap, Petya just finished with 149.6, another great lap, and this is how the top 7 perform, 50% already below the 1 minute and 50 seconds mark. Chiao is about to finish and a 1 minute 48.4, very good lap, also under 1 minute and 50 seconds mark. We are now seeing the approach of Solomon Puma and his first lap is 1 minute 46 seconds and so far that is the fastest lap of this route. 
let's see now if Kian will beat Salomon's best lap. Kian is approaching and uh, 1 minute 47.9 seconds. Kian isn't as good as Salomon on qualifiers, but he is still one of the best. We'll, we'll have to see the second lap as I believe they will be slightly faster than this first one. Kian and Salomon are battling for the leadership of the championship and their final quality position has a huge impact on their racing. Well now, the camera team brought our attention to Terui and Daisy. It seems Daisy is catching up to Teruya, but there will be enough track for her to attempt one overtake. Well, Shane just finished his second lap and was just below the 150 seconds mark with 149.6. There are already 4 drivers with lower first laps than his, so Shane is def definitely at the bottom of the top 7. And I can see that Daisy was indeed getting closer to Teruya, but there was not enough track for a decent catch up. Teruya just finished with 1 minute 50.6 seconds, better than his first lap but not enough. Daisy also finished, her lap was 1 minute 45.7 seconds. This gives her the provision of first for the top 7. Petya is in the final approach and they sense a good lap. He just finished with 1 minute 47.9 seconds, giving him the provision of second position. It will be very hard for Simone to catch Daisy now. And Chiao Li is finishing with uh, 1 minute 45.8 seconds, just 100 slower than Daisy. I believe Daisy just got goosebumps, goosebumps from Chiao's lap now. Oh wait, the goosebumps are real. Salomon just beat Daisy lap with 1 minute 44.5 seconds. Salomon is on fire and took the first position from Daisy. Will Kian beat them and 1 minute 45.3 seconds and he takes the second position. Kian beat Daisy as well, but wasn't enough for Salomon. This was that was an impressive and exciting quality round. Apart from Teruya who finished on top of the 1 minute 50 seconds mark, all the top 7 drivers finished below that mark showing how good they are. It was very exciting for me. So now let's see how Ari's prediction performed. So just for the record, I won't be making the same noises as before. Here it is. First, Chiao Li. That's what Ari said, but now we got Salmon Puma. Salmon Puma. Second, Daisy O'Brien. No, we got Kian. Third, Kian Falun. That's what Ari said. No, Daisy O'Brien. So they changed uh, their position just to mess with him. Uh, in fourth, Ari told it would be Teruya, no Teruya qualified in last. In fifth, Ari mentioned it would be Piotr Frolov, and yes, that's a correct. In sixth, Ari said it would be Salomon Puma, but no Salomon qualified in first. And in the seventh position, Shane Graham, which also is wrong. So again, Ari managed to guess only a single driver. Well, again, Ari made a very, very good uh, assessment, so 1 out of 7, really good. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna say again, if you would like to take part in this nonsense game, just let me know in the description or contact us through the links that I have already provided in the description. Now let's take a look at our overall timetable and how all our, all our drivers have qualified. So for the top 7, we have Salom Salomon Puma in the second position, followed by Ki in the third, then Daisy in fourth, and Chiao Li in the fifth position. So they almost took every single position on the top seven. Uh, Piotr Frolov is the last one in the seventh position. Then we have Shane Graham who went down to the mid seven in the ninth position, and Teruya Muniaki with a not so good uh, round he went to the 12, 12th position so out of the all known top 7 drivers we only have Nina Hill and Arthur Walker will they be able to keep this when the race comes? let's see as a summary for this round no overtake took place and no accidents happened as well it was a clean and impressive quality round for our top 7 drivers in the next episode, we'll talk about the distribution of our drivers into three groups for the race, and I'll also set up a lap for this circuit. For this circuit, Ari mentioned that he had something stored for me, especially for this lap, so we'll have to see what he has reserved for us. I'll talk to you then, and bye now.